There we go. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Very, very foggy as you can see. I'm going to pull this up here so you can see better. <clears throat> Continuous rain. Uh, we had rain all through the night and uh, just non stop. <laughs> it just has been, which, like I said, again, we needed this rain. We really, really did. But uh, it's, it was pretty wild. I'm going to take a walk back here and show you the tanks here in a second. Now we just, we had just hooked in the second tank at the get together and we'd only had like one little shower um, that came through after that. But now, and you, can, you can't push it, the thing is full. This one's full, that one's full. Uh, the one in front of the pavilion that was down We'll walk over there real quick and I'll show you that. Um, that one is also full. So, yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty wild seeing them fill up that quickly. Uh, pretty sure Bud's down at his place is also full. And uh, we'll walk over here. So somebody had said to me, and I'm going to explain why in a second. But, like, so this one here I'm pushing... And now that one is also full. So if you look with this one here, I will show you this. And this is how you know it's completely full. You see the water right there? Hopefully you, can, you guys can see that. The water's right there. Um, that tank is completely full now. And that tank was down uh, big time. So just in one steady all day rain, over 200 gallons of water in that tank that tank over on the end maybe had 25 gallons in it and now it's completely full so there's 250 gallons you know extra water in there now so unbelievable very very cool uh you know again so we got the the four tanks there are full the two tanks there are full this tank is also full Again, this one's getting switched out. I'm only really kind of disappointed that I didn't get this one spray painted in time and switched over. Because then, you know, we'd have that too. But that'll get taken care of. But uh, And it's like lightly raining at the moment while I'm making this video um, as well. So I wanted to talk in this video, guys. I just wanted to show you all that real quick first. And then we're, I figured we would talk here afterwards. Biden, what, with a couple of months left in office, has just approved another $8 billion in military aid to Ukraine. Uh, training Ukrainian pilots to fly the F-16s. I mean, you know, I mean, they, it just, uh, there, were, there were lines in the sand that were drawn. Uh, limits that Russia said that they would tolerate. But we increasingly have given Ukraine better and better and better weapons. And just craziness uh, that this is continuing to happen, that this is being allowed to happen. All right, I'm watching her. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna pop in here real quick. What's up, girls? How is everybody? Now we're gonna take a look in here first. And you can see in there, looks like three eggs, which is awesome. So we're gonna, oh yeah, not, nice and warm too. So somebody just came out of here. Uh, it feels like Miss Betty White just laid her egg because the white egg is very, very warm. Ah. So, it is about 11.30 right now, but uh, again, another $8 billion in approved aid uh, to Ukraine, and I'm getting so sick and tired of this 
American people have absolutely no say in this. Um, I didn't approve this. I would not have approved it. Uh, the amount of money that we have sent over there is absolutely ridiculous. And it's a, the amount of money that we've sent over there, we could have done so much good here in the United States. And that's probably what irritates me the most about this whole situation, is that we just keep throwing good money after bad. And uh, again, it just instigates things, keeps things going, keeps trouble happening. Not a good situation by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, like I said, um, and I keep saying it folks, and I'm gonna continue to say it until something happens. This is a window of opportunity for us, everyday average American citizens, to put ourselves in a situation to be as prepared as we possibly can be for what is coming. If you don't think that there's, we can continue to do these type of things and irritate and agitate and there not be consequences down the road at some point, uh, you are sadly mistaken. You are absolutely sadly mistaken because there's going to be a reckoning at some point. And there's going to be payback or blowback, whatever you want to call it. And uh, unfortunately, again, most of the people in the United States are not prepared for anything. So, you know, it may seem silly for me to be excited to have these water tanks filled up. Okay? It may sound, you may think, oh, that's just silliness. I, it, it's so exciting to me. You have no idea because, again, when that time comes, and we have a lot of people down here, there's going to be a tremendous demand for water because of the number of people we're going to have. And it's not just for like a weekend. It's going to be a longer term situation. So the sooner we have our tanks hooked up, collecting water, filling up, the better off we're going to be um, in that situation as a group when that time comes. Now, uh, you know, at this point, like Jimmy's got his tanks behind here. Hopefully he'll be coming down, uh, you know, soon to work on those and get those going and all those type of things. So time will tell, but uh, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to take care of what we can take care of. And when that shoe drops, hopefully uh, we'll be more prepared than we are now. Uh, that's the goal. So anyway, guys, um, I am going to jump off of here. I hope you all are having a great day. I want to hear your feedback on this. How do you feel about we're all of a sudden now giving another $8 billion to Ukraine? Unbelievable. I hope you all are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.